dear judges and the fellow contestants. I'm number five. Today, my topic is, what do you want to do in the future? Now, raise your hand if you've ever been asked the question, what do you want to be in the future? Too shy to raise your hand? And when were you first asked this question? Five or six? Now, give me a smile if the question, what do you want to be in the future, has ever caused you any anxiety. Lovely, thank you. You see, I'm someone who's never been able to answer such a question. And the problem wasn't that I didn't have any interest when I was young. It's just that I had too many. I liked listening to music and I liked reading novels. I especially like to imagine myself being those characters I love. A parent in different worlds with different types of music as that mouse for. But I just couldn't answer the question by saying, I want to be like Elizabeth from Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Could I? And then, the anxiety caused by this question got worse when I turned 15 and became a 10th grader. The teachers and the students around me kept asking me the question. And I know, they were just asking. They were dead serious. My heart was like a haunted house. And the ghost in it was the question. I couldn't concentrate on my study. And I couldn't talk to people properly. So I decided to create my own buddy. One after another, with one story after another. I gave them lots with my words. And in return, they gave me comfort with their lives. Even now, I still don't know what I really want to be in the future. But I know that there is something that is more important than the answer to a question is to one's future. Something that you love more than you love yourself. The only trick is that you need to find it by yourself. Not by being asked the question, what do you want to be in the future? Because no matter what you want to be, a farmer, a street vendor, or a writer, it is, after all, your future, isn't it? Thank you.